This next movie car is automatic. Systematic. Hydromatic. It's a Grease Lightning. This is the actual screen used car from the movie Grease, yet another iconic movie car from famed Hollywood designer George Barris. It started as a 1948 Ford Deluxe Coupe. They cut it to make it a convertible. And this Ford is powered by a Chevy 350 V8, a set of dual quads, and a hydromatic transmission. All of the body modifications were done with steel and not fiberglass, except obviously for the plexiglass hood. This car had been missing from the public's eyes for decades. It belonged to a private New York movie car collector who had it sent to California and have it restored by one of the original people who built the car. Sadly, during this restoration process, the owner died. With the balance due and the car unfinished, the restoration came to a halt and it just sat for many years. Bolo Museum was tipped off on the car's location, was able to purchase it and have the restoration complete. And now it sits here today. Fox borrowed our car for the TV show Glee during their Grease or Glease themed episode. At least these kids look like high school students. I swear everyone in the original movie was like 30. And of course, we can't do this without paying tribute to Olivia Newton-John. On top of being in Greece, she won 10 AMAs, 9 Billboard Awards, 4 Grammys, was a goodwill ambassador to the United Nations Environment Program, a companion of the Order of Australia, the Queen made her a dame of the British Empire, and since 1982 she's been raising money for cancer research in the US and Australia. She's an international treasure and she will be missed. I went to the library today and I asked where I could find books about oils, lubricants, and grease. The librarian suggested I try the non-friction section. 